Good morning, another beautiful sunrise, another beautiful day. And you know, in van life, not every night is spent at a campground or parked up in a park and ride. I like to use those sometimes, or even sometimes in front of a friend's house or my parents' house. Well, today I'm in between journeys and sometimes you just stop where you gotta stop. Last night, spent the night right here in the parking lot of a Love's Travel Center. And I went just a little bit beyond where I needed to exit for the start of today's journey, which is gonna, I'm gonna head back south a little bit to Stockton, but I came up a little bit further than I needed to, to this spot because they got a 24 hour RV. So as soon as I saw the line that said, loves, 24 hour Arby's? <laughs> well, I took on a few extra miles to get here. So I'm gonna backtrack a little bit south on Interstate 5 to Stockton, and we're gonna start our journey into the Sacramento River Delta today. Just kind of exploring what there is out there. Never really spent a whole lot of time out there, even though I lived in this area for quite a while. I know there's some interesting sights to be seen, and probably some kind of strange stuff too going on out there. You know, once you get out on those waterways, you never know what you're gonna find. So we're gonna do a little bit of exploring, have a little bit of a Delta adventure today. As you can see, it is a little bit foggy out. It's only about 8.30 in the morning, and these wet agriculture lands produce a lot of the tule fog, which is that fog that comes up from the ground moisture in the morning. Uh, it's starting to clear as the sun's coming up here, so I'm just gonna grab my old drone and throw it up just to see if we can see anything, because this is kind of a cool little community out here, Discovery Bay.
I'll tell you what, some of these roads out here in the Delta are the worst. And it's because the ground here is literally giving way underneath of the road and the road is just kind of splitting with it and then they fill in parts where it gets bad. And I mean, this, this should be marshlands <laughs> and we've turned it into agriculture, built levees with roads on them that are constantly sinking and in disrepair. Huh, man, about lost, big bump back there, about lost half of everything in my van. You know, I, I heard somebody refer to living in a Turn van left to West being Walker in a van Road. as, thank you, GPS, as being like an earthquake on wheels. <laughs> and well, that's never been more true than today. Cool van. Cockle doo 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 to you too, Mr. Rooster. You know, I'm not usually one to use GPS and refer to my maps very often, but driving around here on these crazy back roads of the Delta, I mean, there's just island after island after island and the little roads kind of intersecting here or there. Some just dead end into nothing. Some turn into bridges with crossover to another island. Now, today is much like any other day in my van life adventure. I really don't make very good plans, okay? If you've been watching my videos, you, you know this. I don't always research where I'm going. And for me, that's half of the fun of it because I'm out exploring. If I knew everything about this by looking it all up on the internet, well, that would kind of just ruin the fun of coming out here on my own and trying to see what I can see. Sure, I'm gonna miss some cool spots. You might comment, hey, Greg, why didn't you go to that place over there? You were right next to it because I didn't know it was there. But if you ever know about cool comments on places I'm visiting or places I should go, feel free to leave that information so I can check it out. But as far as I go, I really like to just free float through life sometimes and just kind of, you know, there's that saying that the journey is the destination. And for me, that is true. The destination is irrelevant because it's all about the things that happen along the way while I'm getting there. And right now, I'm driving down some crazy levee road winding around Sacramento River in search of a mansion that a buddy told me about. Fortunately, it's on the maps or I would never find it out here. This place is very difficult to navigate and very easily I could get lost. Thank goodness there's good cell reception out here. <laughs> I'm hanging out here at the historic Grand Island Mansion built in 1917. Today you can rent it out for parties, events, and weddings and such nonsense. But a friend of mine told me to come out here, so I thought I'd check it out. It's a pretty cool spot. Look at that. You know, it is pretty cool, quite beautiful, in that old world air of aristocracy, the aristocratic lifestyle. Lifestyles of the rich and famous, Downton Abbeys and such things. I guess today it's Bridgerton, if you really like to get sorted. <laughs> but anyways, one thing really bothering me about this mansion. If you look at it, there's no way to get a symmetrical shot of it. This garden area down here does not line up with the mansion in the background. The steps are off of each other. I don't know why. It really annoys me actually, because I'm trying to take a picture and I like symmetry. Most people design things with that in mind. The fountain would be at the center of the house. The fountain is a little bit uh, candy wampus off to the left here. <laughs> but these are the things that trouble my crazy mind. Well, I've spent most of the morning just driving around these roads along the Delta, along the rivers, checking out cool little towns along the way like Isleton. I always thought it was pronounced Isleton, but I, could, I think I'm wrong with that one. It's Isleton, because it's an island. Ha, like pretty much everything out here. I'm on Grand Island currently in front of the mansion, just hanging out here on the back of my van. 
and as I've been driving through this area, looking at the waterways and all these cool little spots you could go out and like, the kid in me wants to just Tom Sawyer out, grab Huck Finn and just go out on an adventure by ourselves. But I'm not gonna do that because I got my own adventure mobile right here, Mr. Vanny Ganny. But it got me thinking about van life and about the river and about boat life because it really surprises me. Maybe I'm just in the wrong area and it's going on somewhere around here because these rivers and tributaries and delta networks are pretty extensive and a lot of places you can only get to if you're on a boat. But going back to what I was saying, my point is that I'm surprised there aren't more like boat lifers out there just doing the same thing I'm doing and so many others are doing in a van, but on a boat because I know there's patrols that patrol the waterway, but it's kind of like a unrestricted zone in a better sense. I mean, what's to stop somebody just from living on a boat and going up and down, tooling around, stopping in the little dockside places when they need some supplies and just going wherever they want, just pulling the boat. You can just drop anchor wherever, right? And just, that's your spot for the night. And then you move along. You could spend your whole life in the Delta area without ever getting tired of it, I'm sure, without ever getting bogged down in one area. It's a continual network. And I mean, <laughs> if you really wanted to, you could go to San Francisco all the way on a boat. So it's pretty wild. I've just been thinking about that, driving around, kind of almost imagining like how cool that would be to try out. Like rent a boat for a week or a month and just bum around on it. Hmm, got me thinking a little bit. Something I might look into because that would be a pretty fun adventure. I mean, I've been having a lot of fun here in the all Vanster, but living out on there, that would be pretty cool, I think. <laughs> Place this is. We're in Cortland. I just pulled over because it looks like a town that time forgot. I mean, look, this road isn't even paved. Completely wild. This is what I've been looking for. This is the craziest place. What in the world is this? Look, they got a skeleton on the door over here. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be driving back in here. This looks like a ghost town. feel like you made a wrong turn somewhere in life? <laughs> oh, cool. That's like Back to the Future courthouse. <laughs> Look at that. This is the land that time forgot. <laughs> Holy moly. Well, this Cortland place uh, sure is something special, quite unique and very interesting. <laughs> but I really had a great time exploring the Delta today, just kind of dipping my toes into it. I know there's a lot of places I miss, don't worry. I'm coming back here again. But until next time, 